Paleontologist Jack Horner has been working on a project for the last decade to give what kind of bird teeth and a tail through artificial breeding. Artificial breeding? Is that artificial evolution? I don't know. Maybe I worded that rude. But, you know, he's breeding He's breeding these birds together to try and give them teeth and a tail to return it uh, to something closer to its dinosaur ancestors. So it's a bird. Mm-hmm. It's one bird? It's a, it's a type of bird. It's a type of bird. Yeah. And if they have a, a, a weird genetic mutation that causes them to have teeth or a tail, okay. he'll breed that with another one that has the same mutation. Got you. To okay. try and... Uh, I thought you were saying one bird with teeth and another bird without teeth to make like... <laughs> so toucans have teeth or whatever. Um, What kind of bird? Because the theory is that, you know, that the birds came from the dinosaurs. So if they have these genetic mutations, you know, he's trying to, to reinforce them. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say chicken. Yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good job. Fantastic. Thank you. Actually, uh, yeah, none of my teams got that right. Um, I know that because I happen to know a little boy who is the most uh, dinosaur loving human being on the face of the planet. And I remember when it kind of broke that dinosaurs had feathers, everybody was like, basically chickens, yeah. but bigger and with teeth. So, uh, so big ups to him for yeah. helping out. He came yeah, through. exactly. Have you seen those? They're like these like uh, hornbill birds. Um, oh, what are they called? Something hornbill. But they're like three or four feet tall. You know, they stand upright on their hind legs. And uh, yeah, their eyes are basically, they just look like they have like raptor eyes, basically. Huh. They're like really freaky. I have not. Uh, when I saw it, I was like, this is this an animatronic or is this real? Right. <laughs> it's just, you know, you see a weird animal sometimes. <laughs> 